Good morning, you guys. I'm not sure if you can see me very well. Wait a minute. I'm walking. Oh, a bunny. Yeah, I decided to uh, get my butt out the door. I haven't walked probably maybe a week, maybe. I don't know, I lost track. But you know what? When you don't walk all the time, well, at least for me, it really affected my mood and my, I mean, it's terrible, you know? I mean, when I, I think I got into a slump when I, either when I started working or when I quit, I don't know which one, but I don't know, those were like stressful time, two weeks for me for some stupid reason, I don't know why. But, um, yeah, I, um, I got into a slump couldn't get out of my own way I just felt down and and I wasn't eating correctly and you know I I got into some junk food and once I start that forget it I'm off I'm totally off my game I can't do you know I can't function and I hated that Ooh, what pretty little flowers I can't reverse the let me see if I can can you see that little flower I don't know if you can see it or not, but I can't flip my phone around because it's in a, one of those arm thingies, but it's not working. I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, I mean, I got to get back into eating right because I just don't feel good, you know, mentally, physically, and uh, everything seems to bother me. I'm like, I'm, I don't know. It's, everything seems to bother me, and I start tearing up over the silliest things. And uh, I do, and I mean, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. I know I just miss the old days, <laughs> the old days. It's only been a few months, right? But um, some part of me regrets putting mom into a home. I should have just kept her home in the uh, morning. Um, yeah, I, I kind of feel, I'm just, I, I think of all the changes that has happened since I put her in a nursing home and I could have really prevented it. And, and I know at time, some, it's gonna happen eventually, but it has changed everybody's life. Us moving out, putting mom in a home, it's changed everybody. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's changed for the better. Um, I don't know, maybe it is, maybe hindsight, I don't know, but Maybe in the future, we'll, you know, maybe this is what it's meant to be. But um, I know Sully's happy. He's happier than everybody, you know? And uh, he's, he's my everything right now. He's, as long as he's happy, you know? And I have to make myself happy, which I've been trying to. Um, I haven't found my my happy place yet. Although this is this walk is pretty amazing. <laughs> Getting here is a little tricky because I don't like the road that I have to get here. But and I also have to uh, I had to get my bike out. I really need to get my bike out. It's really dark, isn't it? It's really not. It's only like 6:30, 6:30 in the morning. But but anyways, I need to get my bike out so I can start riding. And um, it's just so damn heavy. I'm gonna leave it outside and lock it up out there, but I just haven't gotten that far yet. I'm working on it. Oh, another bunny. <laughs> um, I love seeing bunnies. But um, I don't know. It's so nice out here. It's quiet and green. <laughs> it's green. Um, so what was I saying? I don't know, I got sidetracked. But, <clears throat> Like I said, Sully's happy, you know, and it makes me happy that he's happy, if that makes sense. Um, I've been eating potatoes and greens, um, cruciferous vegetables. Uh, <laughs> I can never say that word, so it was really amazing that I actually said that. Um, the last couple of days with some beans, just to straighten up my system. and. You know, so this morning I actually woke up feeling, geez, my stomach does is not upset. I'm not nauseous, you know. So, uh, 
yeah, so I said, well, I really need to push myself out the door. I really need to go walking. So here I am. So let me see. I don't know if I can show you where I'm walking, but we'll try. Hold on. Pick up some almond milk for Sully because he ran out. And I think I might see if I can get some cucumbers and tomato and some avocado. So I'm dying for a tomato, you know, make it, cut it all up and make a little salad out of it. Dying for that, I don't know why. But anyways, I'm on my way there. And uh, what else? I think that's it for now. lunch today I made a cucumber tomato apple and red onion with a little bit of avocado salad with of course a baked potato and that is stone-grown mustard the salt sodium free one and I just mixed it in with some water just to spread it out this pattern I think it's just called star I'm a little rusty. I haven't done crocheting for such a long time, but just gonna use up some leftover yarn, just make a, just a little throw cover, I guess, just to use up stuff. Good morning, you guys. It is Friday morning. It's really sunny, whew. Friday morning, it's about 6.30, I guess. Um, out early for my walk. I'm not going to walk as long as I did yesterday because yesterday I went for like an hour and a half. My foot was throbbing all night long. It was so bad. And I didn't have any Tylenol or anything and I put a bag of frozen peas on my foot. <laughs> but it helped a little bit, but man, I wish there was something I could do with that foot. I just don't even know. But anyways, enough whining. I'm going to... Uh, go on a little bit of a shorter walk today different a different path so we'll see how that is um, what else I think that's it for now but it's Friday 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 and Sally and I are probably gonna stay in tonight just because we don't need to do any food shopping or anything like that and I'm not sure if he's gonna want takeout or not, but <clears throat> if he does, I'm just gonna order a salad. Just because it gives me a break, I don't have to make anything, you know? So that's it for now, and I will get back to you later. Bye. It is so quiet out here. I can hear the birds. Birdies. Hmm. I don't know. Tinkerbell used to love the birdies. She used to chase them, or try to chase them. <laughs> Would bark her head off at them. You know what I meant to tell you guys? I mean, you all know that I miss Tinkerbell. I can't even talk about it because I break down in tears, but I miss her so much. Anyway. I found out that one of my neighbors, I was talking to this other guy who has a dog similar to her, <coughs> and um, I guess somebody had reported Tinkerbell because she barked so much when we were outside, like, because I had to take her out early, like 5 o'clock, 4.30, 5 o'clock, and she would bark like crazy at the birds and the squirrels or whatever else, the leaves, anything. Whoa. And um, there was a huge bird in front of me. Um, yeah, somebody complained to the office a few times, I guess, because I was breaking the sign. The the um, they have like a silent. I don't know what it's called, like a silent time from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. or something like that. 
or 10 p.m. 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. You had to be quieter, I guess. I don't know. I don't know the name of it, but anyway. Yeah, so, can you imagine? I mean, yeah, she did back her foolish head off and I couldn't stop her. I mean, I even tried getting those muzzles to stop her from barking. That didn't work either. She took it off. She took it off with her paws. She's a smart little chick. So, anyways, I just wanted to share that sad news. Whew, morning, you guys. I just got back from my walk. I walked about almost an hour. Pretty good, pretty good. Now I'm gonna put uh, some ice on my foot because that's the only way I can survive. <sighs> Anyways, I don't know what to do with my foot. I don't know if Bengay will help or that any of those icy hot things would help or not, but damn, that thing hurts, I'll tell ya. But it's, it hurts more when I stand on it and walk on it and touch it. If I leave it alone, if I just like, sit normally you know put my foot up whatever it doesn't bother me so that's the part that confuses me if it's gonna hurt why wouldn't it hurt all the time you know i don't know so anyways i'm gonna chill out for a little bit and uh drink some water and then hop in the shower maybe i might try and take my bike out first see if I have the energy to do that that bike is just so darn heavy but I think once it's out it's gonna stay out I'm not bringing it back in it's too freaking heavy but uh then I also want to figure out what I can do for inside I mean I have my rebounder haven't been on it since I moved but what can I use in an apartment I mean I don't know is it okay to use those exercise equipment in an apartment? I don't know, you guys. You guys live in apartments, anybody know? I mean, we're on the second floor, so I don't wanna, I don't know why I worry about bothering somebody underneath me, but I do, I mean, um, I don't know. Is it treadmill, an elliptical, a, a bike, something? But I wanna do something in the house, you know? Especially when it starts getting colder and snowy and rainy you know what I mean because I'm a wimp and I don't like going out in the cold so I don't know I shouldn't worry about it I know but what would you suggest I mean I don't even know if I want a treadmill because of my foot I don't know but I don't really care for elliptical and mm, I know I, I just I can't make up my mind I really can't so anyways but I would like a treadmill I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to drink a, <laughs> a ton of water and uh, get caught up on some recorded shows. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Is sweet potatoes and broccoli just mashed up. It's delicious. Nothing added. Just sweet potatoes and broccoli.